This is the Imperial Courier, a ship so beautiful it makes people change their mind about slavery. But then, everything that Gudemaya makes is beautiful. Because their ships are literally works of art. And that's because they were essentially all designed by a single prolific sculptor in the Empire, Amida Gudemaya. And it shows. Gudemaya ships aren't designed for utility or stargazing through a cockpit. No. They're opulent and refined, polished, and with a singular purpose. They're designed to send a statement. I'm better than you. So, how does the entry-level version of the Flying Mona Lisa compare to other, less beautiful ships? That's a tricky question. But if we're judging by size and speed, you could compare it to the Mark III Cobra. It has better shields, but far less space in the internals. Same for the Diamondback Scout. But if you wanted to focus on combat, its three medium hardpoints do make it seem like the Courier would be a better choice. But what if we judged it by its price tag? Coming in at 2.5 million credits, you could buy a Type 6 transporter and a Diamondback Explorer to keep it company for less than the cost of the Imperial Courier. And it gets worse. Not only is the Courier only marginally better than the ship's less than a quarter of its price, but you can't actually buy it without permission. The Courier and almost all Gunamaya ships are locked behind the Imperial rank grind, meaning that even if you had the credits to buy this ship, you're still going to have to spend a weekend as a slave licking someone's boots to prove you're regal enough to fly it. That's just gross. But let's say you're a relatively new pilot dead set on flying the courier. You've saved up your credits, sold all the other ships in your fleet, and brought comfort to a duchess after the unfortunate and suspicious death of her husband. You'll have to wonder, what is it good for? Well, this. Now, admittedly, there's nothing I'm not doing here that I couldn't do in a Cobra or a Scout, but I do have a lot of fun doing it in the Courier. I don't even have to open up the guns. That would be beneath me as a member of the Imperial Navy. Violence would be unbecoming of a man of my stature. And look how gracious I am. I don't demand he give me his diamonds. I just send a limpet over to take a few. Imperial taxes and all. When all is said and done, I can head back to one of Her Majesty's ports, and I've made back my buy-in cost for the courier in about five minutes. That is something you do learn when you become an aristocrat such as myself. Wealth creates wealth. But even this is not the biggest selling point of the courier. This is... The interior. Gudemaya makes what are arguably the greatest cockpits in the entire galaxy. And the courier especially has one that is absolutely magnificent. Each piece of the courier's cockpit is crafted by hand. From the inlaid stitching of the pilot's chair to the recessed accent lighting along the sides, to the curved glass panels of the canopy. Everything is made and installed by a person, not a machine. An indentured person, but still. I wonder if this is what the Imperials mean by basking. As I said before, I'm not doing anything I couldn't do in a Cobra, but I do feel differently when I do it in the Courier. There is something to be said for robbing people with a piece of artwork. In the Cobra, I'm a pirate, taking what I want and living life as a smuggler among the stars. But I'm not a pirate in the Courier. I'm a privateer. For queen and country. So, should you buy the Courier? Yes, and no. If you're a relatively new pilot, I can't say that the Courier is worth it. There are some significant downsides to this ship. Aside from its cost and rank requirement, 
its only real use would be as a small shield-focused combat ship. Ideally fighting and dying in service to the Empire. And as beautiful as it is, I can't help but imagine an old-timey villain's mustache under its giant curved nose. But if you have the credits and time to spare, you absolutely should go back and fly this ship. The experience of flying this uniquely luxurious and maneuverable fighter really is a treat. And well worth its asking price. Real quick, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching, and let me know down below what ship you want to see next. If you like what you saw, consider hitting the subscribe button, and if you already have, then thank you again, and I'll see you next week.